Hello, beautiful souls. My name is Jessie, and welcome to my Tiny Talks podcast, the show where we'll dive into self love, inner child healing, and discovering your soul's purpose. I look forward to chatting with you every single Tuesday and Thursday and helping you grow exponentially in all areas of your life. Without further ado, here's today's Tiny Talk. Hello, you guys, and welcome back to another episode of Tiny Talks. I am your host, Jesse Brown, and I am so excited to be back for week 43 of Tiny Talks with you all. I am so excited to dive into today's content where we are going to be chatting about something very much so that I am passionate about. And that is that you never know what your life could look like in a year. And so I really wanted to just preface the beginning of this episode by saying that I want you to just pause for a second and reflect on where you are right now today. Whenever it is that you're listening to this, how are you? How is, how is your day? You know, we take so little time sometimes to check in with ourselves on a day-to-day basis. And so for this episode, we're going to be reflecting back on what we can be doing in a year's time. But it's so important that we bring awareness to ourselves every single day of how we're doing, how we're feeling, you know, what our, what our vibe is, how are our goals, how is our trajectory, how are we feeling overall? Because we can get so lost going in our day-to-day life that we can forget to hone in and we can forget to bring awareness to ourselves. And that can often lead to us either going on autopilot and just missing so many things, but it can also really cause us to skip over all the great things that we're doing. Because reflecting is really just bringing awareness to what has already happened so that we don't have to ponder in it in our present day life. Taking time to reflect on a day-to-day basis of how we're doing is so crucial to be able to recognize and just honor for ourselves how we're doing. Because when we can recognize things and we can reflect on things, all it does is it really just gives us an image or a direction in which we need to go. And it's the same thing when we're going to reflect today on our life and how much we can change in a year. And so the reason that this episode surfaced for me is because I just finished getting off an interview with Kevin from Next Level University. And a large part of it was talking about my growth over the last year. Because it was really a year ago that I decided to change my life and change the trajectory of my life. And I never would have even imagined in a year a year ago that I would now be 43 episodes deep into my podcast. I would be over a thousand downloads. I would be meeting so many like-minded, amazing people. My business would be going great. I would be loving my job, having a part-time job I really enjoy and just in a better relationship, just surrounding myself with better people, I never thought that that could have been feasible for me. And so the point and the goal of today's episode is for you to realize that you never know what your life could look like in a year from now. Because we often spend just so much time thinking about the past and thinking about things that have happened that it's okay to reminisce and to think about the past sometimes. But our past does not control us anymore. What controls us is our present moment because that's all that we have control of. But when we allow our mind to just be living in the past, we can really be missing out on not only present opportunities, but as well as time that could be poured into doing things that is going to set up your dream life in a year from now. And so I want you to just remember throughout this episode that you never know what your life could look like in a year. You never know how much your life can change in a year. And that is such a beautiful thing. Because even if right now you're thinking to yourself, you know, I love my life right now. I'm living a great life. How can that be even better a year from now? Or how can we maintain that if that is what you're pulled to do? This is going to look different for everybody depending on what it is that you're doing. Whether you're growing a business, whether you're working for a company that you're really passionate about, whether you want to start a family, whatever it is, a year and time that we have in those 365 days matters so much more than we think that it does. So for today, I really wanted to just share a little bit about my personal story, but then also give you guys some tangible questions that you can ask yourself to help yourself grow. 
because my goal of my podcast is to help you better your life, to level up, to know that you're so worthy to do literally anything you set your mind to. And one of the questions that Kevin had asked me was, what would I tell myself five years ago? And the biggest thing that surfaced for me was A, to stop looking outwards for validation, to stop looking outwards for the answers and begin to look inwards. Because for so much of my life, I was showing up in the way that I thought other people needed or wanted me to show up instead of showing up for myself. And that led to not only not having a lot of self-love and self-confidence, but also really losing touch with myself and losing touch with my identity because I felt like my core and my values and everything was very much shaped by the people around me. And I felt like if I didn't hone into that, that I wouldn't have people around me. And then I began to realize that if those people aren't accepting of who you truly are, then they're not people that are in alignment. And so that was the biggest piece of advice that I would tell myself five years ago. And then the second one was just that you're so much more capable than you think that you are. I think that we max and cap our potential so much, especially based on our experiences as as children and how we grew up and how our parents tended to things and how our friends tended to things and validation that we got and whatever it was that that looked like. But I think that we, we cap our potential so much without realizing it. And when we do that, we're really hurting ourselves because oftentimes you'll hear stories of folks that are at the end of the light of their life or they're getting older and all that they say is that they wish they would have done this or they wish they would have done that. And so I want you to ask yourself if you're living a life that's true to you or if you're trying to live up to society's expectations or your parents' expectations or your partner's expectations, whatever it is, are you showing up for you or are you showing up for other people? Because I do think that yes, we can have people be a part of our motivators and we can want to become the best version of ourselves for our family and for our kids and whatever that is. But asking yourself if your core beliefs and the core things that you're doing are in alignment with where you wanna go. Because again, the point of this episode, reflecting on how your life could look differently in a year, it's so true. Because you guys, a year ago, I literally consider my 22nd year on this earth as one of the biggest crises I'll probably ever have in my life. Last summer, I was spiraling more than I had ever spiraled in my life. I was beyond stressed to the point of some days I couldn't even get out of bed. I had just recently gotten out of a three-year relationship. I had moved back in with my parents for a little while and I was just beyond burnt out. And mind you, at this point, I did not have a podcast yet. I was still living in Alberta. I was working in a job that was burning me out and I was just not content. And so one morning I had woke up and I went to the doctor and she put me off on stress leave. And that led me to leaving my job in Alberta. And I knew that although I loved that job and it was hard to do, I knew that it was not going to be maintainable for me long long term because I was reflecting at how much I was losing myself. And so after I had done that, I was very much up in the air of where my life was going. And I felt so lost, so unsure. But the one thing that I kept honing into was myself and my heart of knowing that I wasn't putting up with certain things anymore. And I just kept tapping into that of what am I needing more of? What am I needing? What am I missing? What is my heart telling me? And I ended up moving to Calgary from Fort McMurray where I was living and then moving back to Fort McMurray and then moving to New Brunswick, all in the span of three weeks. And so I was literally driving across the country, just trying to figure out what my next step was, what my next move was. I had no idea in the world that I would get, I was gonna be starting a podcast. I had no idea some of the business ideas that I would be having. I had no idea the people that I was going to be meeting. But all I knew is that every single day, if I could just improve by one percent or just put one more piece of the puzzle together i knew that i was getting one step closer closer to something but when we spend our day-to-day lives just thinking we are always going to be the same and we're always going to be having the same job and we're just going to work the same job until we retire and all we're going to do is pay bills and we're just going to go through 
the daily flow that society has set for us, we are capping our potential. And so the goal of me starting my podcast was because I listened to so many other podcasts that had just lifted me up and just instilled belief in me through their voices. And they didn't even know who I was. They still don't know who I am. Some of the podcasts I listen to because I'm a stranger. But when you can begin to get around and hear things and surround your mind with just a different perspective, it's absolutely crazy how much you can grow. But so the reason that I'm so passionate about today's podcast of you never know what your life could look like in a year is because it's so true. We never know what our life is going to look like, but we do have the control of the things that we're doing on a day-to-day basis. And so the first question that I encourage you all to just brainstorm with yourself for a moment, and this is something that I definitely encourage you to sit down with and really get honest with yourself with, but the question is, where do you see yourself in a year? Who is surrounding you? What are you doing? How do you feel, right? What emotions do you feel when you think about you in a year? Where are you living? What does your house look like? What does your family look like? So many minuscule questions, but it's so important that we get clear on those things, right? And I want you to first ask that question of where you see yourself in a year based on the awareness that you have now of where your life is going right now. And then the second question I want you to ask yourself is, where do you want to see yourself in a year? Because those are two very different questions of where you see yourself and where you want to see yourself. Because when you ask yourself where you want to see yourself, that might mean taking a big leap of faith that can be scary to do. That could mean quitting a job that you've been at your whole life. That could mean leaving a relationship. That could mean get, just getting outside your comfort zone. But that might take you closer to the life that you want to have in the future. And so what do you want your life to look like in a year? And I know that that can be a really hard question to ask ourselves. So try to think of the emotions attached to it. I want to feel abundant. I want to feel love. I want to feel comfort. I want to feel safe. I want to feel joy. I want to feel secure. Whatever it is. And then and then going deeper. What are the things that you think spark that in you? What are the things that make you feel that way? And if anything in your life goes against those feelings... It's about reflecting for yourself of if they're still in alignment. Because our life is not supposed to stay stagnant. We are not supposed to stay stagnant. We are meant to grow and to evolve and to become the best next version of ourselves. Right? Thinking back even again on your life a year ago, I guarantee you it looked drastically different than it does now. And so is the, are those things that were happening, did they happen by default or did, did they happen because you had control and awareness of it? Because that's the thing, it's once we begin to bring awareness to things and put our foot down, that we're able to begin the trajectory that we want to go on. But if we're just on autopilot and we're floating and we're just letting the days go by, just to let them go by, to to jump to the future, are we really setting our future up for what we want it to look like? And you can set yourself up for the future that you want now, right? I quote all the time from Atomic Habits when they talk, when James Clear talks about just improving 1% daily, right? We, we can't just jump to those things that we want to jump to. It's about small, minuscule habits and changes every single day that compound over time. And when we're able to get clear on what we want our life to look like, we're also then able to manifest it. And by manifestation, basically all I mean is that when our mind can picture something and believe it and know that we can become that, it becomes a little less challenging because when our mind has no awareness on or belief that something is even possible, it's very, very hard for us to put in the work to make it possible if we don't even think it is in the, in the first place. And so manifesting the life we want just by having that vision and holding that vision for ourselves when we wake up. I know for myself, I have a very clear vision of where I want my podcast to be in a year from now. I have a very clear vision of where I want my business to be in a year from now, what I want my house to look like, right? What I want my family to look like. I'm very clear in my mind of what I want that to look like. And so I'm able to backtrack of where I am now in the actions and things, the 1% that I will have to do now to begin to get one step closer to that future that I know I'm going to achieve. 
And so a big part of that that's also tied into that, that James Clear talks about, is your identity. Your identity that surrounds that. That was another thing that came up during the interview. Was my identity that I am a podcaster, right? I only began to tell myself I'm a podcaster about two months ago. And I'm almost a year into this journey. And only two months ago, I was able to say that for the first time. But when we're able to hone into what our identity is, our actions will begin to follow that. Because if I have the mindset of I am a podcaster, when I wake up in the morning, I'm asking myself, what would a podcaster do today to improve their life? What would a podcaster do today to improve their show? What would a podcaster do today? Right? And so for you, if that's fitness, what would, I am an athlete. What would an athlete do right now? Right? It comes down to even if we're about to eat a meal, would, a, would an athlete eat this or would an athlete eat that? right? It's shifting our identity around things of honing in what we believe in and making it become us because we are what we believe we are and we become what we believe we are. And so the stories that you're telling yourself, because for a very long time, I told myself, I am shy. I am not a speaker. I am scared of people, etc. And so of course, when I had that awareness, I was not going to have the belief to come jump on the microphone. But when I was able to tell myself that I want to be a speaker, I have it within me to do that, and I'm going to improve 1% every day, you begin to hone into that and your mind starts to believe it and so you start to change your habits. Things will start to fall in place that are in alignment. And so ask. that's what I want you guys to just ask yourself, to get clear on the stories that you're telling yourself, your identity that has shaped you. Sitting down with a piece of paper, writing your name in the middle of it and writing down all things that come up that pour into you, that you believe shape your identity. When someone asks you to tell, or when you ask someone to tell them a little bit about themselves, what would be your answer? If I asked you to tell you, to tell me a little bit about yourself, what would you tell me? What would be your instinct to tell me? That is where we can find the evidence of what we believe about ourselves, because our level of belief is different in our mind and what we tell ourselves. When we truly believe in something, we're able to verbally express that to other people. Because I remember even the first six months of my podcast, I barely remember to even tell people I had a podcast and I was telling them the things that I do. And now it's the first thing that I do because it's so largely shaped my identity. And so I truly hope that this podcast episode allows you to just reflect that your life can look so drastically different in a year from now. Your life can be so much closer to the life that you dream of and that you want it to be. But it's about starting today and treating every day like a fresh day to get closer. How can I evolve today? How can I learn more today? How can I get one step closer? But it's first about bringing awareness to what you want your life to look like in a year. I truly hope that you guys take the time to just sit down and get honest with yourself. Because this is something that can only come from within you. And definitely something that I encourage you to do by yourself before you maybe go out and do it with your partner or with a family member. What are those honest conversations that you have to have to have with yourself and maybe you have to have with other people? What are some more boundaries that you need to put in place? What are areas of your life that you're letting yourself down that maybe you need to hold yourself more accountable? Because you in a year from now can be a completely different person. And that person can either be the person that you want to become or you aspire to become, or you can stay stagnant by doing the same things. The choice in life of everything that we do is up to you and comes down to you. And it comes down to your mindset, the story you're telling yourself and the actions that you take on a day-to-day basis. So make sure that you're making them count. Make sure that every little thing that you're doing is something that you're okay with. Because time is something that we don't get back. Time is our most limited thing. And so we have to make sure that we're using it and we're investing it wisely. Don't regret the next year of your life by not doing things. Find ways to make it happen. Get around people that inspire you. Read books that inspire you. Listen to a podcast that inspires you. Inspires you. I want to thank you guys so, so much as always for tuning into week 43 of Tiny Talks. This was something that I felt so pulled to share with you guys 
And I truly hope that it just lights a light bulb in your mind of just doing that reflection for yourself. Because anything that you want to accomplish and any of your dreams that you have, they're so feasible and they're so within you to accomplish. And how can you start that today to better yourself in a year from now? Because you never know what your life could look like in a year. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. I look forward to chatting with you all next week. Bye, you guys. Thank you all so, so much for tuning into this week's episode of Tiny Talks. I absolutely love connecting with you all, so make sure you're following me on Instagram. I am at jessiebrown13. If you enjoyed today's episode, please feel free to leave a review or share with someone you think would enjoy. I look forward to chatting with you all next week. And remember, get out of your head and into your heart.